So, this is it. Stuff we get to use for hashtag second Saturday stash slash seven. It's where it's an open collaboration, y'all. Okay, which means you can play along. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, there are uh, like se seven different uh, artists, and we all chose seven different things to use up from, from your stash. And this month, our seven listed items, guy, okay, were uh, suggested by Susan Hiles, guy. Okay. So, the first thing she says she wanted us to use, now, you know, you can use all of them, one of them, okay? Make substitutions as is appropriate for what you have in your stash, okay? So, she says, fake money or guest check, flowers, paper drawn, painted, a digital print, the color pink, a spray, you know, something like delusion, she says, a butterfly, and something gold. Now, y'all know me. I sometimes misread things, and I read fake, faux money, guest check. So, <laughs> I skipped over the flyer, but I add that. We'll get there. Okay, we, we didn't miss it. We just did more than what was required. Okay, <laughs> so I want to use these guest deck checks, guest checks. I have two different styles. Um, the other style I took and I scanned is personal use here, people, personal use. And then I reduced the size of them because I thought it would be fun, more funner. Anyways, I'm using deli paper as my substrate because I want to layer on uh, my bits of guest check, which y'all know is a lightweight cardstock. Maybe you didn't know. Guess what? Guest checks are lightweight cardstock. Okay. Now, because I'm layering up digital images here in a little bit, I didn't want it to be really heavy, so I didn't want to start off with the cardstock base. Likewise, I didn't want to use a copy paper weight base. Okay, that was my reasoning. It's going to be heavy enough. Okay. So, we are using Yes Paste to stick on our guest check bits because we've trimmed them apart because I don't need to glue the whole thing on there y'all. I don't need to. I have plenty but still save when I can save that one tenth of a cent. So that's what I'm doing using yes paste. Now y'all have heard me say it before but maybe you haven't. Yes paste and wet glue let me rephrase that. Wet yes paste and wet glue are not friendly. They don't like each other. If you do it, they will turn into a ooey gooey, snotty, sticky mess. However, if the yes paste is dry, I mean dry, not almost dry, but dry, and then you use wet glue, it'd be okay. Likewise, if your wet glue is dry, not damp, but dry, and you use yes paste, it'd be okay. They are not friendly when they're wet. They are not buddies. But, by all means, check it for yourself, because... I want to know, <laughs> y'all. So we're just going along, and as you can see, maybe you can see, my uh, smaller guest check that I digitally changed it myself for my own personal 
personal use okay now these are going to be uh in the background and they will not necessarily be in your face kind of thing okay but i used them okay now this is a digital print i got from susan taylor brown thanks susan um she reached a milestone on her youtube channel just saying because it's true mm-hmm 10k girl you go anyway it's a celebration she did some digital print background things if you're if you're a subscriber okay mm, check out her channel susan taylor brent anyway oh, i love them i love those backgrounds anyways the other bit of a digital image that I have, I do not remember where I got it from. I don't remember if someone sent me a free image. He can, y'all, if I downloaded it, if it's one of my own images that I scanned, I, I just, I don't know. Okay? But I thought it was perfect. So... I've used a lot of digital image. Here's the sprays, y'all. Atelusions and uh, a distress spray, okay? Oh, also uh, in the description box below, there is a link to the Open Collaboration playlist. You click that playlist, all right, and it will have all the videos current videos in the open collaboration if you decide to play along and make a video you can share that link with any of the hostesses and they should be able to add it to the collaboration playlist so that you will be in the playlist with everybody else okay and if you click on that playlist said playlist choose play all to see all the videos in the second saturday stash slash seven open collaboration <laughs> we're inking around stuff y'all we sprayed and we dried with heat gun dried now we're double inking we used a nice color and then we're going around that very edge with black Okay, it just makes it that edging just hums so nicely, in my opinion. Now, a little tear, and I thought, well, let's just fix that little tear because it'd be all right. So, we're just putting on a, a little piece of paper on the back side with some glue. And y'all may have saw earlier where I glued down a little bit that didn't stick for whatever bizarro reason, but it, everything was dry, so it was okay. It was okay to mix my paste and my glue because it was dry. So here's our digital from Susan. Oh, it's just lovely. And there's the digital. I I don't know where I got from, y'all. I am so sorry. I did check my folders and I couldn't find it. So, yeah. Now we're going to glue this piece down. And it is this, uh, my digitals are on uh, copy weight aka printer paper plain old white printer paper y'all and i have it offset slightly it's not crooked it's just offset on purpose okay i'm like yep we're gonna glue this one on top now you see why i went with the deli paper substrate because i've got enough layers on here that it didn't need um anything heavier under there because then it would have just been way too thick when i go to bind it whenever i go to bind this because y'all know i like art journaling on the flat and then i bind them together later a later date even so we're gluing along did i mention there was a list of ingredients in the description box below the video there is click on that word dot 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 more 
to see more information. Now we're going to apply our something gold. I had this gold ribbon and I just trimmed some little pieces off and we're going to stick it down with the fabric fix okay because I got a Tim Holtz paper doll. Y'all know I love those things. I just do. So we're going to, uh, she's going to stand on the gold, y'all. And uh, so we're doing that. Sticking it down. Sticking it down. Got Buddha Miss Butterfly. So I'm just going to ink around it lightly. Now y'all may know. If you don't, guess what? You're fixing to find out. I love to use black thread for butterfly antennae okay so if it had antennae on it i cut it off this particular butterfly did not have antennae but we're going to put the black thread on there now to do the and now this is a, a slightly heavier thread than your uh general purpose this is a quilting thread and it just i don't know heavier so um i cut a little piece off i kind of smoosh it together with you know some mama adhesive spit and uh we're going to put some glue on the back of the butterfly then we're going to put the thread on there and then on top of the thread i have a little piece of scrap paper right there we're going to lay that on top and that will help hold the thread in place okay now chances are it wouldn't come on come off without that little scrap of paper but it makes me feel better to put a little scrap of paper on there so that's what i'm doing because it was in my little trash box right there and it was otherwise going into the recycle bin so it's okay 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 so we're going to set that aside and let that dry for a little bit it will not be 100 percent dry when we come back to it but it will be dry enough okay okay Turn it upside down, scooch it aside, bring our lady back, because I decided she's going to get some ink around her, and then we're going to ink her up. Okay, we're going to add some colorizations to her. Now, you, this is a Timmy Holtz paper doll, so it kind of has a slickish surface. You can use watercolor markers just know it will take them a minute or 20 to dry okay you can also use alcohol markers or those distressed crayons i do believe i don't have any but i think you can use them probably pretty sure i'm going to use archival because it's what i have and i was looking for one of them little uh pick things and I couldn't find one, so I'm just going to use a brush to smoosh that brown. It's coffee color. Coffee, y'all. Onto her suitcase bag, whatever is in her magical bag. And I thought, well, she needs brown. She needs to go with her brown bag because, you know, we women like our matchy-matchies. All right? And then I thought, we're going to add colorization to her blouse, too. But we're going to use garden patina. Now, for that one, I do have a pick, and I knew where it was because I keep it on the back. And it's hard for me to tell on my little editing screen that we colorized her blouse, but we did. And you may or may not be able to tell in the um, photo montage. Okay? Just hang in there. Well, I could kind of tell. So now what I'm doing with my fingers, I'm just kind of rubbing it around, making sure it's all on there. It's nice and dry, which it is. And I thought, this lady needs a diamond earring because we all like our diamonds, don't we? Well, I, I don't. I'm not crazy about diamonds. I mean, they are just clear glass. Well, it's not glass, but you know what I'm saying. Them colored stones, man, them semi-precious stones with the emeralds and the rubies and the sapphires and the amethysts and the smoky quartzes. They got color to them. I like that. Any hootles. Putting her a diamond earring in there. Now, what are we going to do? Are we going back to our butterfly? What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to put some of that gold ribbon on the butterfly's body. 
God bodied butterfly. <laughs> Y'all. I have so much fun doing this second Saturday stash last seven. I find it inspiring mm -hmm. for other people to tell me what to use. I get, I reckon. <laughs> so we're just going to glue our butterfly on. Now notice we've not made any pockets. Okay, this is unusual for me, but we've not made any pockets yet. <laughs> so I want to put a little bit of tiny bit of glue for my antenna okay now they're not going anywhere I just want to shape them a little bit so I'm using just a thin line of the art glitter glue no glitter in it and uh that way I can just shape my little antenna okay mm -hmm. perfect beauty mess now, we're going to put our lady down, and and she's going to be a pocket. Well, really, she's more of a tuck spot than a pocket because, you know, she's not very wide, so you can't put a whole lot in there. But we're going to tuck some stuff in. You just wait and watch and see. Wait and watch and see. And now my computer says, plug me up before your battery goes to sleep. Y'all know it's not going to sleep, but it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be a happy camper. We don't put some electricity to it. There we go. All right then. We charging now. So faux money. I could have just used the guest checks, but you know, when you misread stuff, yeah, <laughs> I'm using guest checks and faux money. This is miniature Monopoly money that came from a miniature Monopoly game from the Dollar Tree back when it was a dollar. Okay? I've had it for a while. I bought two of them Monopolies because I thought, I love this money. Give me more money. I didn't want the word Monopoly to shine as brightly as I perceived it to shine. So I went over that with a black marker, and then I tried to ink it, and I thought, no, the marker was better. So now we are layering up the big bucks, okay? Just layering them up as best as I could so that hopefully, because <laughs> I didn't try them back on, they will fit in our little tuck spot, okay? Okay. We're going to try it in. Yes, but I don't want them sticking out quite that much. So we trim it off. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. A little more. Okay, that's more butter. And they're kind of flimsy because they are a very lightweight paper. Okay, and I thought, well, we have this little piece of guest check over here. Let's glue them onto that. And then they will be just a little more sturdier edge. So that's what we're doing. Mm hmm not being real precise just you know sometimes good enough is just good enough sometimes you want it more butter but this time it was good enough got got and we're going to trim around it now typically i recommend guy for you to let your stuff dry before you try to cut it with a pair of scissors or a knife or a craft knife or whatever because it cuts more butter dry just saying so i don't typically follow my own advice real often sometimes i do when it comes to that yes paste and wet glue mm -mm. y'all i don't be mixing that mm -mm, mm -mm. Ta-da! It tucks in there so nicely. And I'm thinking I'm about done. I found a sentiment. And I'm like, we're going to add this because it's perfect. I was thinking I was about done. I went back to my list to check my items. And I saw the word flower. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I digged it out some paper flowers. Okay, mm -hmm. pick the ones I liked it the best, and now we're going to glue them on mm -hmm. with my favorite, Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. It's my favorite. 
layering them up and gluing them on. I've already picked a diamond to put in the middle. And not a diamond, no. Mm -mm. And not a diamond. It's a turquoise color diamond flower. Okay, here it comes. There it is. Ta-da! <laughs> and we're going to squish it all on there. Okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, check it out. She got that gold. She got stuff tucked in. It's on the guest check. More points for me. Woohoo! More points for me. There are no points, y'all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ta da! Photo montage. My job here is done. That's <laughs> what it says. So you know it's true. That's what it says. So it's true. Oh, my work here is done. Excuse me. <laughs> Makes me happy. Be sure to kind comment, like, share, and subscribe to all the people in this year's second Saturday stash last seven. Thanks for watching and happy art, y'all.